Every project needs a set of instructions to follow. For CNC, that's a set of computer commands that are created using software. Chad will walk us through the steps. So now we're going to create some files to take to the machines. And what I have on the screen here is a, a preview of what we're going to create. So this is just to illustrate just how simple it is to create a textured, multi-step inlay. So you can use any CAD CAM software you like to create a design like this, but what we prefer is a Vectric suite. Um, you know, in this case, I've got Aspire loaded on my computer, but mm -hmm. you could use VCarve Pro to okay. get those same results. So you saw that beautiful piece of barn board out here mm -hmm. that we're working with. So when we open up our Aspire software, then we'll just go ahead and set that material up. We'll create a new file and enter the dimensions of the material. In this case, it's 22 inches wide and six inches tall and about three quarter inches thick. When I say about, it's an old piece of barn board, so there's some inconsistencies there. So we just want to make sure we're referencing from a standard location. In this case, the Z0, where we're touching off with a bit, is on the top of the material. Okay. And then we're setting up our X, Y0, the origin, in the center of the material here. So we're going to switch over here. We finish the tool paths that we just created. Now it's time to move out of our preview screen and actually save these tool paths. So if we go to the Save Tool Path tool, then you'll see there's a list of post processors here. We just want to select the post processor that goes with our machine to put it in the proper, proper format for that controller out there. In which this case, we're going to use the Axiom Pro series out there, so we're mm -hmm. just going to grab the HHC post. If we were using the Elite, then we would use the Axiom Elite.cnc post. Um, but this .mmg post will work for the basic Pro or actually our new I2R series. And now that these are saved, we can hand the flash drive off to Austin and he can take you to the machine. Chad and I put our sign on the flash drive. What do we need to do next? So we've got a brand new machine here that we're going to be working with today. This is an AR8 Pro Plus series machine. And the first project that you're ever going to do with your machine is to be to service the spool boards. And, and what are spoil boards? And why do we need to surface them? They feel pretty flat and smooth here. So a spool board is just a sacrificial table, but you can have an inconsistent thickness across the tabletop. So what our goal is, is to take a few thousandths of an inch off the surface of the table to make sure that it's consistent no matter where you are. So that, that Z distance, the bit to the table, is the same. So I know working with MDF, it can get pretty dusty. It can. So we've actually outfitted this machine here with our overarm dust system and dust shoe. So it's just a two-piece dust shoe, air earth magnets, clips right into position, and we're ready to run at that point. We've got our file on the internal memory of the controller, and we're ready to go. Let's do it. All right, so we've got our dust collector running at this point. So we're just going to start our file off internal memory here. So we're going to select our file, which is our AR8 surfacing file, and the machine's off and running.